Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Everyday Faith, day number nine. Uh, Ricky here with you guys today as we continue with our theme of legacy. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this theme. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you download the Faithbox app on uh, Google Play Store or the App Store uh, and get involved in that. I think we've sent out an email already. You should have received that. If not, you can message or email me, uh, ricky at faithbox.com, and I'll send you the links that you need uh, to get signed up for that. But man, uh, it's been awesome to have so many people jump into that and get involved in our community. We're excited about the app uh, and hope that you feel the same way as we do. So uh, let's jump into today's devotional. And it says this, as followers of Jesus, we've each been called to make disciples. When it comes to personal faith and a relationship with Jesus, we all have something that we should be or that should be passed on to someone else. And this goes along with yesterday's devotional out of Second Timothy. That's why today's action is about identifying one person you can begin mentoring and discipling as a means of creating a faith legacy. You can write down the names of three people below and then take the next seven days to pray and ask God for clarity about who you should begin investing in. If you can't immediately think of anyone, just pray and ask God to give you direction. Man, this is, uh, I think maybe uh, some people are probably sitting at home like, oh my gosh, is this for real? Like, how am I gonna do this? Uh, what if I don't know enough? I don't have enough memory verses, you know, committed. Uh, I don't have all the details. I don't know all the answers. I'm just trying to figure this out myself. And as a pastor, you know, one of the things that I realized, like, like the idea of discipling someone is, sounds or feels really intimidating uh, to most Christians. And that's probably the case for you. Um, most Christians feel kind of uncomfortable thinking about being responsible or having to disciple someone and help them move along in their faith. But the truth is, like, we all have arrived to where we are because someone has been willing to commit something to us. And if you've been following Jesus for, like, five days, uh, you know more than the person who's been following Jesus for, like, no days. Um, and, and discipling really shouldn't be that intimidating. Discipling is really just saying, hey, this is what God is teaching me. This is what I've learned about God. It's also saying... This is what I'm trying to figure out. And these are the things that I'm trying to ask and, and gain clarity on in my relationship with Jesus. Uh, and the Holy Spirit leads you in how to have that conversation with others. Uh, and, and so as the action part goes, you know, I, I think we all have people in our lives that we can look at. It might be a sibling. It might be a, a spouse. It might be a child. It might be someone in our church. It might be someone at work uh, who we can begin encouraging and being intentional about building a faith legacy through discipleship. Now, there's a bunch of resources. You can do a reading plan. You can use one of our devotionals and go through it with another person. Uh, again, on the Faithbox app, we have all of our devotionals. You can go through that with another person, and then it's just like a daily check-in. Like, hey, what did you think of this? What did this mean to you? What is God teaching you about this topic or about this subject? That's a simple way. That's, that's something all of us can do, and you don't have to have the right answers. You don't have to know all the things. Um, you just need to be able to point someone to where they can get the right answers. And that's what discipleship is about, is pointing people to Jesus. So write down those three names, uh, pray about it over this next week, and then uh, let's make comments about, you know, let's share about how it's going. You know, for me, uh, there's three guys in my church that I'm working with at the moment, three guys that I'm mentoring and, and investing in. Uh, one guy, Eric, another guy, Jake, another guy, Steven. And these are three guys that I'm pouring into and I'm helping shape and I'm helping them grow closer to Jesus. Um, so it's not just something I'm saying you should do. It's something that I'm actively committing myself to. And we're not saying do three. We're just saying just find one. Start with one person and let God um, build that relationship and create a legacy of faith through you and in you. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.